Okay, well, the greatest impact as Ms. Freer was that I was the first Hispanic Ms. Freer. Um, the Roundup had been in effect, I guess, for 15 years, and so again, I was the first Ms. Freer, Hispanic Ms. Freer. Um, the other thing was that there was 23 girls in that pageant that year, and um, basically, you know, like when I heard my name, I was like, what, what, you know, it was really, really exciting. And that year was fantastic. I went to uh, 23 parades. I think the biggest impact that I received on being chosen Miss Freer was the fact that after my reign, I had a much deeper appreciation for my community, along with a deeper respect for it. It took a lot of time and sacrifices uh, for me to carry out my reign as Miss Freer. There's a lot of volunteerism that's involved. And so after my reign was over, I truly had a deeper love for my community and for the people. And ultimately, I think that was one of the decisions that impacted me to eventually uh, raise my family here in Freer as well. How did you make the outfit? Well, what happened was we would go and purchase the snake skins from Mr. Morales. He lives here in Freer. And once we got the snake skins, um, I gave them to my grandma and she was able to sew the material onto like shorts or make a vest out of it. And so from there, we were able to make the outfit. What duties did you have being Miss Freer? Uh, mainly we had to go to different surrounding towns and go to different parades, um, especially community events. We would go and help if it was uh, passing out, like for example, the turkey giveaway or uh, they had an event for the school, we were always there helping, passing out things and lending a helping hand. What were your most stressful moments? My most stressful moments would have to have been waking up for parades. We would have to wake up some mornings, we'd have to wake up at four in the morning, five in the morning, and be on the road, be there, be dressed, hair, makeup, everything done. It, it was kind of stressful, but it was worth it. What did it mean to you to be chosen as Miss Freer and to be honored to represent the first Triple Crown? It, <laughs> it meant a lot because growing up, I, I never I didn't really want to do the pageant when I was in the Little Miss Freer, but whenever I did do it and I ended up winning, I was able to get a feel of how it felt to represent my hometown. And then it made me just want to do it again and do it again and after and I thank God it like you know everything kind of fell into place and it was just a great honor because I like really love my town and being able to represent it was an honor.